Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Deliver Us Mars, and today we're going to sneak in here and listen in on whatever they're talking about. And it looks like we're going to have to go in this room over here, so we got to find our way. Yeah, let, let's cut that. I'll say let me in. Oh, that was super loud. We got our nice dependable flashlight. Oh, okay. Get out of the way. I'll say, let's... I wonder where that's going to go. So I'm guessing. Okay. Do we go with this guy maybe? Not really. Maybe our goal is to jump, get on here, and from here, we do some craziness. Nope, can't do nothing there. Well, there is a door over here. Yeah, it's not useful, though. Of course, we might be able to just go hit X. Yep, we figured it out. Parkour. Oh, well, that was terrible. Okay, we'll hit that back. We'll, we'll just take our time here and... I just really don't know how we're going to get over there. Okay. So we're here. There's nothing other than this. Okay, we go with a robot. He's... Oh, I see. So we're going to use Ayla to do it. Okay. okay. Let's keep on moving. I like how it's like cushioned in here. Absolutely certain. So it must be them. I can't believe it. They're on Mars? You okay? Can't imagine this must be easy to hear with everything. I'm fine, I'm fine. I assume we can find a justify mission opera then? Mission Opera? Since we pulled Sarah and Kathy from the moon, we've been formulating a contingency plan, should we discover Outward's location. During Mission Vestia, we found indications that the three ARC vessels Outward used to leave the moon weren't just for transportation. Our information leads us to believe these three ARC actually form a shrine, a completely self-reliant settlement. But why reach out? Why now? Is it a distress signal or an invitation? Doesn't matter. Mission Opera has only one objective. 
bring the arcs and their revolutionary technology back home. We should analyze the distress signal. Maybe we can determine the encryption used. We're working on it as we speak. I can enable terminal access in the back office. See what you make of it. Ada, quick. Find a way inside that room. All right, so I guess we're going to try to find the encryption. Right, she probably knows the encryption because it's probably from her father, I'm assuming. Okay, well, that's a dead end, so we're going this way. Perfect. Ayla, stay right there. What you're about to hear cannot leave this room. Understood? start by including Ryan and Sarah as part of the team. Not only do they excel in their respective fields, they're vital to me personally. I trust them both in my life. That leaves one more position to be filled. Yes. Hey. Hi. At the risk of sounding like an idiot, I think we should take Kathy. What? 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 She was leagues above the other graduates in our program. You mean, the only class of astronauts that we've had in the past ten years? It doesn't change the fact that she aced nearly every exercise, sometimes even doubling my scores. I know you want to keep her out of this, but she's the best MPT engineer we've got. We need her expertise. And look, I will deny ever saying this under oath, I might add. Kathy's the most talented individual the WSA is working for them. Apart from you two. And me, of course. Uh, we're not seriously discussing this, are we? I mean, she... She has no prior experience. She's a complete risk to the mission. Sarah's right. Kathy shouldn't be part of the team. There are too many factors How involved. Are you doing? Hey, hey, Maria. Can I come in, please? Seriously? Please, Claire, let me be a part of the mission. Were you eavesdropping? Yeah, and I'm sorry for that, but Claire, you know I've proven myself to the WSA. Two concurrent science degrees, majored in stream tech, top marks in the astronaut training program, like Ryan said. Thanks for the kind words, by the way, mate. Sure. And you need my MPT expertise. Please, Claire, with you by my side, I know I can do this. We can do this. Plus, there's only like, what? Three other trained astronauts to choose from, so... I think you should take her on the team, Claire. What? 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 Nice. She's one of the most qualified people we have at the WSA. However, the final say is yours, of course. Okay, Kathy. Even though Ryan's last argument was severely lacking, yeah. Ouch. I believe you'll do everything you can to guarantee the mission's success. Right, Kat? Of course. Now I would like to go over the minutia for the mission with Claire, Sarah, and Ryan. Can you let us handle this without listening in this time? Oh, well, seeing as I'm now- Kathy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Of course.
You're all snug in there, Ayla. You need anything? Cup of coffee? Magazine? You diva. <laughs> You look nervous. And that amuses you? No, no. Just seeing you, you're proud. <clears throat> hey, that scar on Sarah's stomach, is, is that the one Dad gave her? Yeah, why? Just curious. Knock, knock. You ready? Let's go. Yeah? <sighs> Alrighty. So, totally off topic, I just thought about a, a decent game, I think. Um, horror game, kind of like Dead Space. Where you have a colony on Mars that, like, you know, radio silence. You show up to Mars, and there's an alien life form, you know, it's pretty much changed everyone, turned them to monsters. And you find out that there was a, you know, ancient civilization on Mars that was pretty much killed out by said, you know, alien. I think that would be a pretty cool game. <laughs> we're heading to the rocket now. Copy that. Transport is ready for you. I was just thinking about it, like, just now while I was chilling. Good. Slept like a baby. Of course you did. You didn't? Yeah. Sure. How about you two? Good. Yeah, fine. Good. I said, let's catch up to them. It's kind of weird that we're like way behind them. But yeah, I think a game like that would be pretty cool. You know, you go to the Mars colony and you find out what happened. And everything's gotten, you know, nasty and gory. I must say, let's get on the bus thing. I must say, hopefully we're doing it right here. Here we go. No turning back. Nope. Hey, you know what I still think about? What? How come we get to live in better conditions than the people in the shanty town? How is that possible? Pure probability. Geographically and demographically, we were born in the right place at the right time. They weren't so lucky. Right. Wow, they really don't seem to want us to go. No. But considering the amount of time. Whoa. You okay? Yeah, just a bit startled. Are they insane? They're not helping anyone by trying to hurt us. Don't they understand that we're doing this to save them? Those people will be on the MPT waiting list until the day that they die. If you saw the WSA using so many resources to send four people to space, you'd be angry too. They don't understand. But when we bring the Arcs back, they will. Oh, they won't. I mean, they might, and I hope they do, but they're promising something that might not happen, even if we do bring back the arms. Hope springs eternal in the human breast. That's the way I choose to view it. Alexander Pope. The soul, uneasy and confined from home, dreams of a life to come. Look at you knowing your poetry. What can I say? Not just a pretty face. Okay. <laughs> Take a look at this view. Wow. Never ceases to amaze, right? It's a shame we couldn't build her properly. What? With all the shortages of materials, it really is a miracle that this thing is here at all. You could have mentioned this in all these months of prep that were flying economy class. 
No, I didn't want to worry you. Except for right before it taking off. Seemed only fair to disclose it now? Sure, sure. If Claire believes we can use her for the mission, we should trust her. I believe Zephyr 3 will handle the mission just fine. Well, we wouldn't have this game if it did. I say that did not make sense at all. This should have gotten ran over. This railing was like all up in there. Oh, we got something right here. All this mission gear almost makes me feel like a real astronaut. Wait, I am a real astronaut. I say I think we are good. Look at that sun, super bright. Let's see if there's anything in the the hidden area. Apparently not, but we get to look at the surrounding environment. Very dry, arid, with a large body of water. Let's board this uh, spacecraft. Time to go to Mars. Launch sequence initiated. Opera team, this is ground control. Proceed with final check. Copy, GC. Opera team, comms check. Go. 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 Cat, systems check. Oxygen. Oxygen is go. Flight? Flight is go. Navigation? Man, we're, we're controlling all the, the controls. Navigation is go. Ground launch sequencer? Ground launch sequencer is go. Fuel? Fuel is go. Liquid oxygen? Liquid oxygen is go. Power? Power is go. Launch sequence functions? Launch sequence functions are go. Propellant load check. Good to go. Brian, airtight seal and cockpit air composition check. Seal and air composition are go. Sarah, start fuel cell thermal conditioning. Conditioning is a go. Cat, strong back retract. All right, where's this thing? All right, right here. Alrighty, look at that nice view. Strong back successfully retracted. Sarah, bent off lines. Lines are vented. We are go. Starting automatic ground launch sequencer. Sequencer is a go. Cat, retract orbiter access arm. Alright, there's another thing we gotta do.
Orbiter access arm is retracted. Copy. Start auxiliary power units. Is that another thing we gotta control? Yep. That's right. I'm an astronaut, apparently. I know what I'm doing. Auxiliary power units are go. Copy. Retract gaseous oxygen vent arm. I mean, what what are we supposed to go to? We'll figure it out eventually. Zero. Okay. Control the arm. Peony cap retracted. Opera team, visors down. Go. 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 Power. All right, we're gonna do another thing. Transfer complete. We're on internal power. Sarah, activate launch pad sound suppression system. Suppression system online. Activating solid fuel capacitors, hydrogen burn off system. Burn off system, or a go. Cat, initiate solid fuel from the start. We are going to Mars. We get a good look at the sky. say hopefully we can make it out of our atmosphere Yes, we made it. I guess we're good. I was expecting to use this. There's the earth, I'm assuming. in all its dry beauty.
Alrighty, found we can you do this one. And it's away. And we're on cruise mode. So I like that automated uh, driving. Super difficult actually because they have to calculate if you're like barely off, you can completely miss the location where you need to go. And it can be uh, very dangerous. And I guess we'll pop back in when we get close to Mars. Want to go to space? Here we go, Opera Team. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Babe, did you prepare philosophical quotes for the entire journey, or? Only like five a day. Oh, good. Want to see something cool? Meet me at the escape pods. You didn't like it? I mean, it's great, truly. One small step was already taken, so. Oh, wow, old school, yeah. huh? You look excited. You never look excited. Don't be cheeky. I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment. Sorry. Just look. This is what we're doing it for. Right, Kath? Yeah, absolutely. Sarah and Ryan are probably settling into their pod. I'll head back to the cockpit. Be right there. This is pretty cool. I don't know why we're swimming, but you know, it's nice. Yeah, what they call these things? Bubble gum bomb. No way. I swear. It doesn't look like bubble gum at all. Well, well, I mean, it probably did back in the day when they named it. <laughs> you want to give it a new name? Um, <laughs> peep coral. Of course. Why did I even ask? <laughs> you know. Mum loved diving too. We used to go diving together all the time after Daddy's training. Training for space? Yeah. Uh, just like I'm training you to go to space now too. Cool. Yep. Dad, why is it so dirty underwater? <sighs> um, I'm afraid we did that. No way. I'd never throw anything in the water. Right, yeah, well, I mean... Not you, a lot of other people did, unfortunately. Oh, 
looking at? So the water can it nice again? Well, we uh, might be about 50 to 80 years too late for that, I'm afraid. <laughs> You know, it's like death in the water too, all over again. Time to fight sharks. There's a kraken in here. Be warned. Okay, we're almost here. Come look. Want to go to space? You heard that too, right? Yes. I'm in the cockpit checking the diagnostics. Meet me here? Sure. Oh, we're in that zero gravity. Alright, I'm guessing we just go through here. Let's so let's straighten up so we kind of look nice. Really cool though, I do like the look of the ship. I'm guessing we're going through this door. I need eyes on to determine the damage. I'll perform an EVA and let you know, GC. Copy. Did the thruster get hit? Probably. Could you keep an eye on the diagnostics? I'll get ready. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do it. Look, I need real life experience out there. Of all the EVAs we could have, this one is pretty safe, right? I mean, I could just casually mention my stellar extravehicular activities training score. No, it's fine. I think it was 94. Mine was 95. See, you're so much better with numbers. Best you monitor the diagnostics. Fine. Just be very careful. We're still in orbit, so watch out for debris. Got it. Get prepped at the airlock, and I'll guide you on comms. Alrighty. I guess we're going out in space. I've double checked it, Claire. I'm fine. I don't think you really double checked. Claire, I've got this. <sighs> All right. It rests out of the airlock. All righty, and there's the Earth. And space station from when Rolf survived the breach during the moon mission. Uh -huh. Huh. I'm kind of honored. What a weird thing to feel honored about. <laughs> right, first things first. What can you see? Is there any damage to the thruster? All right, debris from Pearson Space Station. A big explosion on the station caused Rolf to be flung out, barely escaping death during mission Fortuna. In the end, he had to give his life to save us from the blackout. A big sacrifice to make. All right, let's go over here to the thrusters. Oh yeah, there's some damage, all right. There's a huge bit of debris stuck in the thruster. Could be from the space station. Okay, is the plating around the base of the thruster damaged? Let's find out, doesn't look like it. It's seen better days, but it's holding together. What about the pipes around the thruster? They're pretty badly bent. Okay. They'll need to be cut away if we want the thruster to be even semi-functional. Is the thruster still receiving power? How do we figure that out? Okay, I guess from that little thing right there. It is. Shut off the power lines before you do anything else. There's a big button in the hatch. Just press it. You're good to go. Okay. And watch out for the fuel canisters. One of those while you're cutting it. Well, don't, please. What do they look like? The big yellow canisters. Do you see them? I see them. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Very careful. Very careful. Okay. Turn the power off and begin the debris removal. All right, turn off the power. Let us hit the uh, d the yellow things here. All right, so let's cut this. Hey, remember that 
That sunken space station is way behind our house. Yeah. Why? I was just thinking about it earlier. Did Dad ever take you swimming there when you were young? He did, but not when I was that young. What do you mean? Well... I say, get in there. Man, this goes crazy. Does that count? He's like, oh, you want to go with the married guy? All right, we're getting it though. Okay, and I'm guessing we're going inside. I wonder if you get hit by this like debris, would it like really hurt? Because you're in space. I don't know how that all that works. Okay, let's get underneath. And I think we just got this little pipe. See if we can get it here. Probably have to cut it from the outside. That's what it's looking like. Let's get out of here. Right. It's done. Okay. Good job. Turn the power back on and I'll run a diagnostic. On it. Alrighty. Let's just... Okay, it looks like we gotta do some power things here. Okay, well that's something. Okay, that one. Ah. Oh. We figured it out. Power's back on. Running diagnostic now. And we're good. Okay. Great job, Cat. Head back inside. And carefully. Yes. Yes, Claire. <laughs> it wants to be cut. That's probably instant death right there for everyone involved. How they end the game in like one hour. Just cut that. And you'll be good. It's weird that she's going like back in time. That's pretty cool. Never noticed this one still had Ally 900 tiles in it. This thing is really ancient. Look at that helmet. Anyway, you're gonna love living on the moon, honey. Really? Absolutely. You can you can play in low gravity anytime you want, and there's no school on the moon. Cool. No, I mean, you know, you'll, you'll get some form of schooling when you're there, of course. I mean, this unit still used piston doors. How old is this girl? Haven't you been here before? Like, what's the deal? But let's go check out the, the thing, I guess. We're kind of stuck. Explore the wreck. I said, let's get above it so we don't have to worry about it, you know, crashing down on us. Oh. 
Oh. Okay, it definitely does not want us to go above it. It wants us, to, I guess, to go down below. Probably through here. Nope. It wants us to go through here. We explore it the way it wants to be explored, apparently. go the other way okay we get stuck which is weird I say we can come down here kind of need some lighting but you know it is what it is Be honest with y'all, I think we might be stuck. This is like a very weird mission. Yeah, I cannot move at all. Okay, it's because we can't see that stuff. Okay, there, there's some weird, weird visuals here. That's for sure. But I like this. I like the sea life growing here. The cockpit. Well, let's see what's going on in here. It's probably gonna be like a dead body. Eh, nothing special. I was hoping there was going to be some, like, rotted body somewhere. Pushes us back in. Pretty cool looking, though. Don't think we can get over there. Is there something in the cockpit we're supposed to do or what? Let's go to the tip. Nope. Can't go over there either. So I'm assuming we need to do something in here. Maybe get on one of the chairs? This thing kind of interests me, but it's nothing. Pretend you're an astronaut, okay. Okay, here we go. bad we're gonna stop here today make sure to like comment subscribe check out the links below next time we're gonna investigate the moon bear and see what happens i'm assuming we're gonna make it to mars in the next episode at least i hope